everybody? Today we are at KL Bird Park. We've been invited by Amans and Asus team to review on the Zenfone 3. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to test whether Zenfone 3 is capable to be used as a vlog camera instead of carrying this handheld. What I'm going to do is put this image side by side and to accompany me this, my little assistant, Sarah, my daughter. Oh well. Um, it looks like it's very dark outside. It looks like it's going to rain. I've got this jig which I haven't assembled fully yet. So let's just assemble this first and then I hope you get the idea of how to use this thing. If you want to check out the features about the Zenfone 3, I'm going to leave down below on the description and you can check out all the things about it. Uh, shutter speed or whatever, all those kind of technical things. But in today's video, I just want to see whether how good can the Zenfone perform against a camera which I think very good vlog camera. I've been using the Sony A5100 for a very long time and I like the quality of the video. The autofocus is really good. But compared to this... The Zenfone 3 comes with its own camera app and it's packed with a lot of features. There's a histogram, there's grid and you can actually choose to do it in HDR mode. And the best part about this is shooting in manual mode. Now in manual mode you can play with the white balance where you can change the temperature. And then you can play with the exposure levels as well as the ISO and the shutter speed if you want to. You can also change the AF point where you can actually select manual or automatic. The camera app features a gyroscope which is common these days. The best part about the camera app is that you can use burst photo which buffers about a hundred images which later you have to choose. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend using this because this will take up a lot of your disk space. Come, come here. Sony features a 16mm lens which is quite wide but on the Zenfone it's unknown. When it comes to dynamic range, Zenfone did a very good job but when you crop to 100%, you'll see that artificial colour starts coming in. Okay, so the event today is over. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to go to Bird Park because it's raining so heavily and I don't think there's any other way to go in. I mean, it's wet. I don't really want to. Even if, even if we're given the chance, I don't think we want to go in because it's going to destroy all the devices. The good news is, I want a Zenfone phone. So, the question is, can you use a Zenfone 3 as a vlog camera? To tell you the truth, you can, but not with this camera. If this was an S7, I'm sure you can do wonder, but this is a Zenfone. It doesn't go really that far. Although it's described as being built for photography, the app is, but the hardware isn't. Now it's a shame that Zenfone 3 doesn't come with NFC. My Samsung S3 came with one, and this is 2016. S3 was 2012, which is a bummer. Anyway, special thanks to the Aman team for organizing Rumpon. It is unfortunate that the weather wasn't on our side. It would have been a great experience to take Zenfone 3 and this camera outside and we do neck-to-neck -neck comparison. Last word from me, Josh. 